Okay, here's some back... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to clear my throat for a moment. <clears throat> like I said, every time I start a video, I have some camera fright, stage fright, whatever. So, uh, let's start. <clears throat> okay, now here's some back... Well, here's an update for Villa Max's case study. Here's something that you probably... For those who didn't know... Um, behind the scenes uh, retrospective of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy okay um when the when the season began in February of 1999 um to begin this uh the story arc Quasar Quest and the beginning of the uh, Lost Galaxy season um Villamax's costume wasn't used in the beginning because uh his costume wasn't available to be used to begin the series as the first villain to debut in the series so Saban decided to use the Dr. Henklar, Kanglar, whatever his name was, and Denji Sentai Mega Ranger, his alien mutant form in Mega Ranger. That was that would obviously be Furio's costume for Lost Galaxy, despite the fact that Furio was a Lost Galaxy villain. His costume came from Power Rangers in Space. This is um. Mega Ranger counterpart, but his but his costume wasn't really used in in space because um, I wonder why his costume wasn't used. Anyway, um, well after Fur after Furio was done, episodes after after the Treacheron um, featured episodes and such the filler episodes like uh, Stolen Beauty and the Rescue Mission. And the two episodes that featured Deviat and the two lost Galactozords, um, Villamax costume was finally found by the time when the, the, um, the producers and writers brought Trakina back. Um, now, now this was astounding to me. After you know, I know a lot about Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, but I knew a little about Seiju Sentai Gingaman, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy's counterpart. In Gingaman, um, Villamax, aka General uh, Sword. General Sword, General uh, Sword General Sabash, um, he had somewhat a well. He had a sword sometimes, occasionally, in some of the stock footage I've seen of Ginga Man, but in the Japanese version, Villamax had, or as Sabash, he had a gun. Um, despite the fact, did I know? I know Super Sentai can be you know very violent by nature, but even though despite that's a Japanese kid show, Power Rangers is an American children's program here in our country which is obviously what well, we know power rangers and super sentai are adapted to one another super sentai came first but while power rangers came you know two decades later duh so but in um in the gingaman version of power rangers villamax did not carry a gun think thankfully but um despite the fact that um gingaman seemed pretty violent for some of the villains well you know the way how they portrayed the villains in their version um, Villamax had a gun, um, so, well, at least we didn't have him use a gun on, here on our show, because, despite the fact that, you know, America, uh, um, the, the American children's programming, the American, uh, children's programming is very strict with that, and the FCC is very strict with it, too, about the, the, um, you know, when it comes to violence in kid shows like this, so, it, our best bet was to give Villamax a sword, At least that's more child appropriate. Now about Kegler, I know something. Of, you know, I know um, in the Gingaman version, uh, Kegler was the uncle of Hexuba's counterpart in Gingaman. I can't think of the her Japanese uh, Gingaman name. So, um, and then in the later episodes. Kegler, uh, or known as what whatever his name was in in Ginga Man, also, he um, uh, let's see, I've seen uh episodes Ginga Man episodes, the episodes uh following Huga's capture by Captain Zahab. Um, after when the Ginga Man used their uh Star Beast uh Mecha. To attack Datanix, 
which was Zahab's dragon, which is adapted into Titanosaur and Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, obviously. Um, after Daytonus was destroyed, Hugo was captured, and we get this, and we see Kegler's uh, whatever his Ginga Man names character name was, and and we see Kegler alongside the the Japanese Magna Defender, which is known as Black Black Knight or Bull. Well, when when Hugo wasn't um, present for the rest after Bull Black was killed, you know, and um, it was kind of astounding to me when I saw the remaining episodes that featured uh, Magna Defender and Kegler together in the Japanese stock footage. But knowing that, despite that Kegler is a Lost Galaxy uh, character, he works for Trakina and Deviant and Villamax, but Kegler doesn't do nothing. So, um, that's much I have to say about their updates. So, anyway, there was your update for Villamax and Kegler that you, um, then see retrospectively behind the scenes.